Puma RS Fast, one of the new additions to the RS line. Is this the best RS model in Puma right now, or is this kind of a little underrated? Stay tuned to find out. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Luigi back at it again with a brand new video and today we have another banger sneaker review. We have another addition to the series, Fresh Kicks for under $100 and we are back with some more Puma content. I've just been copying a lot of Pumas lately. You guys know Puma is one of my favorite brands out there. This is actually my second time actually getting this model. But well, the first time I got this model, I ended up just returning it. I figured I'd give it another shot and I'm really glad that I did because honestly, this is probably one of my favorite models from Puma right now and probably one of the best models we've had in Puma in a very long time. Before we get further into the video, if it's your first time, check it out one of my videos. If you guys do enjoy the content so far, if you could be kind enough to hit that subscribe button, we're so close to hitting 4,000 subscribers. That's the goal. I would like to hit 4,000 subscribers at least before the year ends. That would be a little mini goal for me. So if you could help me out and help us reach that goal, I'd really appreciate it. Hit that like button. Also click that little bell, stay notified because we do drop videos every single week you guys want you can follow me on my instagram at underscore luigi i do apologize for the lack of upload your boy went on vacation i was recently down in florida and i went to just relax a couple days i know the uploading schedule has been a little crazy recently I saw that these were on sale so i you guys know i had to pick these up and scoop them up so i can add it to the fresh kicks for under 100 dollars. let's get right into it so for the box we have a regular standard white and green box regular puma box you guys have seen this a million freaking times so we have the puma RS Fast in the Castle Rock colorway. Now, just gonna say this right now, terrible colorway name choice for the sneaker. They should have honestly just called it just black and yellow, like just as generic as that sounds, like that's literally what it is. If you're a big fan of the Puma RS models and definitely wanna go check out some of the other Puma videos that I've done, especially the Puma RSX3 puzzle, one of my favorite sneaker reviews I've ever done. I used to think the Puma RSX3 puzzle was my favorite, you know, Puma model of all time. I'm starting to think the RS Fast is probably my favorite now too, not only because of the comfort, just I like the whole like futuristic look to it. The inspiration behind the sneaker was just taking like early 2000s inspiration, mixing it with like a whole futuristic vibe and I think they honestly did a really great job too. Really good addition to the RS line and I like the direction that Puma is going. Anything that usually when Puma comes out with a brand new model or a new addition to any line, it's usually pretty good and I think they knocked it out of the park with this one. But yeah, enough about that. Let's dive right into the sneaker. All right, so first thing that we're gonna talk about is the color of the sneaker now. You do have some gray, you have some black, you do have some yellow, you do have some white, and I kinda just like how the gray mixes in with the yellow. I think it just looks really clean. It's kinda loud, it's kinda subtle at the same time too. Probably the best colorway out of the whole RS Fast line, just in my opinion. Going into materials of the sneaker now, the materials of the sneaker are crazy because they used a whole bunch of different materials in the sneaker, and when it comes to me buying a sneaker, one thing I always look for is materials. As far as materials go on this, on the toe box, you do have some mesh right here, you do have some leather right here, you have some neoprene right here where the Puma logo is. That's pretty much what the sneaker is mostly made out of. You have mesh, you have leather, you have neoprene. Other materials actually, like, it's not great, but it's not terrible either. It's kind of in between. And I hope they continue doing like more like different materials on sneaker like this because it, honestly it just matches really well. To the laces of the sneaker, they decided to go with the black standard rope laces, the lacing system right here kind of reminds me of like the Air Max 97 kind of lacing system that they have. Kind of debating maybe if I should swap them out to put some white laces. I do feel like some white laces would look really clean and also change the look of the sneaker too. But for now, I'm happy with the black laces. The tongue is actually really cool because I like the padding that they used on the sneaker as well. It kind of has like a mesh material right here for the tongue and it's really cool too because on the front of the tongue right here, it does say Puma and that yellow hair right here, it does say Puma upside down and up top as well. You do have some more of that neoprene going down on the side of the sneaker as well. Definitely a different style compared to like the Puma RSX3. The back tab of the sneaker, you do have a back tab right here to say Puma in black and yellow. Very nice touch by them. I like how the all the subtle yellow hits that they put right here. I'm not really too sure what this little like yellow part is for. Comment down below if you know because I have absolutely no idea. It does look really cool. It gives it kind of like a futuristic look. Going into the midsole of the sneaker, which is one of my favorite parts about the sneaker. So you do have this white midsole right here and it is very chunky. So even though it is a chunky sneaker, it doesn't fit like a dad shoe. That black uh, classic Puma logo going down right here. You do have some of that white hits. 
going into and just the midsole just looks honestly just really crazy man I like how just aggressive and loud it is outsole of the sneaker look how crazy that outsole looks man it just looks so good I like the whole traction pattern that they use and just the whole yellow and black just looks really good I know it shouldn't really matter like who cares who's really gonna look at the bottom of your sneaker it doesn't really matter because once you wear it they will never be clean again and you have a point but for right now we can just admire how nice and beautiful these outsoles look far as sizing goes for the puma rs fast now usually when it comes to puma sneakers i usually always go half a size down for some reason puma sneakers fit me a little big for some reason i don't know so i went with my true size and these fit really good highly recommend that you guys go true to size on the sneaker you should be okay going back into the puma rs fast now this is one of puma's newest additions to the rs line and honestly probably my favorite puma sneaker out right now I know I say this about almost every Puma sneaker that I buy because I feel like just in my eyes they can do no wrong because pretty much almost everything they've been coming out with has been pure fire lately. You guys know me, I'm a big fan of Puma. Pretty much almost anything that they come out with, I pretty much almost 100% of the time pretty much buy. But as far as the RS Fast uh, goes, it's a great addition to the RS line. I love the RS X3. I thought that was my favorite model until I got these in hand and tried them on. These are stupid comfortable. I highly recommend these. You can honestly walk in these all day and your feet would pretty much be a-okay. No complaints here. I wore these for about maybe four hours and my feet did not hurt at all. If anything, they're super comfortable. Like I said, they're mixing. It kind of looks like a chunky dad sneaker with a runner vibe. That's probably the best like comparison. I like the sneaker model. I think it's really good, especially this colorway. I'm still standing by what I said. This is the best colorway out of all the whole entire line, in my opinion, you know, besides the collabs and all that stuff. Just for some reason, Puma just, they can't miss, man. They're always hitting home runs. They're always knocking it out of the park. And especially with the RS Fast, it's a great addition to the line because fall is pretty much around the corner. This is a really good sneaker for the fall. So expect some really good fire fit picks. I'm going to throw these on feet to show you guys how I style these and that will be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys just pretty much had a great time hanging out with your boy for a little bit, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also click that little bell, stay notified because we do drop videos every single week. If you guys like the on feet at the end of the video, if you guys like all the transitions, all the crazy shots, please show some love to the cameraman. You guys can follow him on his Instagram at Leon underscore Kev. You can catch me on my Instagram at underscore Louis G if you guys just want to message me to chop it up. My messages are always open. I'm going to catch you guys next time on the next sneaker review. Peace. <laughs> Had it up zoned.